Hey guys, I'm Francis L. Hi guys, I'm Maria Lourdes. Hi guys, I'm Erwin. Hey guys, I'm Yasha Ant and we are Team Political science comes from two Greek words, polis and sire. Political science aims to know the activities within the state. Subdisciplines of political science are political theory, examines the contemporary application of political concepts such as human rights, equality, peace, and justice. Comparative politics is a branch of political science that aims to, the, to provide context to the differences in government and political systems. International relations covers the interaction between states and non-state global factors such as international organizations and human groups. Political behavior covers the attitudes, knowledge, and actions of an individual in response to political environment. Public policy inquires on types of governmental policies and the underlying motivations for their enactment and implementation. Public administration examines the various administrative schemes implemented by government officials. A conceptual model that may be used in understanding the political dynamics within a society is that of David Eston political system model 1957. Five primara, primary variables. Environment. It consists social, historical, and economic condition of the society that affects the types of policies accepted and declined by the electorate. Input. This refers to forms of political events or products that are needed by society from its government. Political system. It acts like a black, black box through which every form of demand is shifted and decided upon. Output. It is, it is decision of government toward an input. This includes policies, rules, laws, regulations, and projects. Feedback. Whichever the government decides on opinions and responses will be made by the affected of sectors. What is politics? When we say politics, it is the central concept in discipline. For Alfred Boyer, politics is the interaction between the civil society and the government in the activity of governance. Boyer highlighted the concept of governance or the execution of laws within a territory mediated by civil society are sectors of society and government. For David Easton, politics is the authoritative allocation of scarce values. Easton's definition promotes the idea that there are scarce or limited values in society. This, is, this includes the power, prestige, and other values that are held by a select few in society. For Max Weber, politics is the exercise of power within a state. We were introduced to essential concepts in political science, the power and the state. The power as defined by Robert Dahl is the ability of person A to make person B do what person B would not otherwise do. And the state is a political entity that consists of four elements. There are four elements of state, government, sovereignty, territory, and people. Government. The set of personnel who manages the affairs of the state in its act of allocating scarce value, and it is classified by Aristotle into four. The first one is monarchy or tyranny, a government that is governed by one ruler who has efficient administration of political and economic values is a monarchy. A perverted form of it is tyranny or the rule of dictator. The next one is aristocracy or oligarchy. Aristotle argued that the rule of few intellectuals known as aristocracy is the best form of government. He said that aristocracy is less prone to corruption as it is ruled by people who have no vested self-interest due to their high moral values and non-economic preoccupation. The third and last classification of government is the polity or democracy. Polity is better known as the rule of middle class. 
this type of government is the most efficient and less prone to corruption. This is due to the rulers are economically satisfied and well-educated. On the other hand, democracy has a great potential for chaos and corruption given that it is ruled by masses of people who are generally economically challenged and who are not well-educated. The second element of a state is territory. It is a geographic space in which the sovereignty of a state is exercised. The next element is the sovereignty. It is the capacity or ability of a political system to make independent decisions within its territory. The last element is people. This fourth element of a state is the most crucial of all, as it is through the existence of people, concepts on government, state, territory, and sovereignty take shape.